Uh, hi guys. Um, it's me, friendly neighborhood Spanish teacher. Even though I don't live in your neighborhood. Um, at least I don't think I live in your neighborhood. Sorry, just finding my blankets. So I can get all snuggled up here. Um, uh, let's see. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, sorry this video is so late in getting to you guys. I had to have a doctor's appointment this morning. Not sick. I just hadn't been to the actual doctor since, like, um, last, I don't know how long I'd been since, like, a regular doctor's appointment. Because I had had, like, doctor's appointments for being sick. Like, I had strep last year three times and the flu. And so, like, those weren't, like doctor's appointments they were just like wow you're really sick and so they didn't talk about like your life and well-being so had to have like a life and well-being doctor's appointment so that was fun um let's see today you're doing your um oh 11 19 which is making that um, Google Slides. Um, and so make sure that you do the one over weather. Um, we have our quiz tomorrow. So let's kind of take a quick look at that on the Calendario. Um, so, it, so here's 1119, nine slides. Um, here's my example slide deck for you. And then this is the one that you open to make a copy and keep in your Spanish folder in your Google Slides and work on and turn in. Um, the example one, I did uh, seasons. And this is the one where you do weather. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of us like struggle between weather and seasons. So like I'm looking at like, so if this is the assignment we did and then i'm grading this one or this one um like a lot of these assignments i'm seeing like i'm asking for the weather and you're giving me like fall or primavera and so that's a little worrisome so like maybe let's like look at the floppy real quick or something um to see if I can get a good example of this. Find the 80s. Um, okay, so like, let's look at this. Write a sentence in Spanish that describes the weather associated with each of the following items. So like, it's hot, it's cold, it's sunny, it's um, raining, um, it's thundering and lightning. That's weather. Summer, fall, winter, and spring, that's not weather. So like I was getting for these, like lawn chair. When you think of lawn chair, you think it's nice out. Um, ice skates, you think it's cold out or it's snowing, okay? You don't say winter, okay? Um, because winter is not weather. What's the weather during winter? Okay. Um, lilacs and violets, those are flowers. When do we see a lot of flowers? We see flowers in the springtime. Yes, but that spring is not weather. So you see it when it's, um, when it's nice out. Okay. When do you need your snowsuit? When it's snowing. When do you need a leaf rake out? Um, when it's cool out, when, okay, <laughs> uh, perspiration, <laughs> a lot of you read this as precipitation. You need, you, you perspire when that, another word for perspiring is sweating. <laughs> so you sweat when you're hot. <laughs> Atmospheric electricity is lightning. And a noise in the sky is thunder. Okay. So um, that's just something to think about. All right. Um, and then this one we also kind of bungled. Um, my instructions were write this out. So when in doubt, write it out. And then name the season. 
So some of you gave me translations, which, okay, that's great. Some of you gave me just translations, which, okay, that's less great. Um, and then name the season when this is the typical weather, which there is a little bit of play here. Um, there's five. We only have four seasons, so we're going to have a repeat for, like, the first time in our lives. Um, and so some of you just gave me the season, which you didn't write that out. So um, this was an interesting one that we've kind of discovered. Um Logical weather expression according to the advice the traveler is given for packing. Pack warm clothing because it's El Invierno. And in El Invierno, in the Invierno, what's Invierno? Invierno, what's Invierno? Winter. You need warm clothes because in winter it's cold. Lightweight clothing in El Verano. In El Verano, it's hot. You need a coat and a hat because in El Antonio, Otonio's fall, it's ase fresco. It's cool. In an umbrella in the Verano and Veracruz, oh, uh, it's gonna rain on you. That's like not hurricane season, but it's the rainy season. Um, I've been near Veracruz in the rainy in the summer season, and it rained like all the time. And then you need your ski outfit, which is like your snowsuit, um, in El Invierno. Invierno? Warm clothing. Because um, it's going to snow. Okay. All right. And then this one is a little interesting. Nieva goes to, it's snowing. El Sol is the sun. And then Ase Sol is, it's sunny. So a couple of us mixed up with soul, it's sunny, and ase soul, sun. So um, remember to read with care, not with speed. Okay. Um, all right. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, but we've got our Friday. We've got, um, oh, by the way, take attendance, guys. Don't forget. Okay. Take attendance every day. Um, dual lunch goes available. Turn in your grade notebook, turn in for a grade. Um, notes from 10, nine and 10, 11. That's Monday the 9th and Tuesday the 10th. And then, um, we did not, we do not have, um, bell work today. So 11, 12, 13, did we have bell work on the 16th? We probably, no, we did not. Cause that's the day that Cammy didn't work. Yeah. So I moved everything from to the 17th and 18th. Today is this, there's no bell work. So yeah, there's only the 17th and 18th on this day. So um, there's a, a, a one minus day originally of what we thought. So there's going to be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35 points of bell work. Okay. And that should not say time and colors. Um, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and your quiz, picture identification and matching. Um, and this is actually a timed quiz. And I'll send out a video over this quiz. So. All right. I love you guys and I will see you later. Okay. All right. Bye.